This afternoon, families of some of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting victims have reached a settlement with a gun manufacturer nearly a decade after that massacre. As CBS's Nikki Batiste reports, the sum is more than double what Remington Arms initially offered. Today is about what is right and what is wrong. Families of nine victims of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting gathered in Trumbull, Connecticut Tuesday, agreeing to a $73 million settlement with Remington, the maker of a Bushmaster AR-15 style rifle used in the 2012 massacre. Today is a day of accountability for an industry that has thus far enjoyed operating with immunity and impunity. And for this, I am grateful. The family sued and spent years in court trying to work around a law protecting gun makers from most civil suits. We kept hearing it was impossible, an unwinnable case, that firearm manufacturers were immune. Lawyers centered their case around how the rifle was marketed, alleging the company targeted younger at risk males with product placement in violent video games and ads like its so called man card campaign. Remington argued there was no evidence connecting its marketing with the 2012 massacre. The settlement will be paid out through insurance, and Remington Arms also agreed to make public all the discovery and deposition material. It allows these families the rights to share the information as to what they learned. The families hope this leads to greater accountability in the gun manufacturing industry. Now bankrupt, Remington has not commented on the settlement. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Trumbull, Connecticut. Remington offered a $33 million settlement last summer, but it only involved two of its four insurance companies in no documents.